Hello, this is Jim Smith at GANanalysis.net. You can find me at the website here, www.GANanalysis.net. I'm just today going to show you an update of a chart that I showed about a year ago on YouTube. I'm using a scale of 10 points per month, the low here and the high here, to find the range in price, and then you project the square forward using a scale in this case I've chosen a scale of 10 points per month so that's the scale the big red lines the one by one down from high the one by one up from low those are 10 points per month and then the one by two it would be half that uh, so five points per month and the two by one would be twice that or 20 points per month so that's how the uh, this square is created. It's called the square of the range. Um, the actual swing of the price movement, the uh, swing of gold, defines this square. And if you do it right, and you have the right, um, uh, if you have the right scale, you catch all kinds of turns. And in this case, you can see it caught a high here, all the way back in October 2012. It sold off. You formed a low here in it looks like around April of 2014 and then you sold off found support here rallied back halfway through the square in time and price is a major setup for GAN and I told clients at the time when it sold off here this is probably a low that was back in November 2016 so that's halfway through the square in time the full square going out here would be January 2022 and if you look at that YouTube video I did a year ago, you'll see that we were down here and I was telling people at the time, hey, it's going to go up into 2022 and it's going to make new highs. So um, this is the two by one line. So once you establish the one by one, okay, 10 points per month, again, two by one would be twice that and you can see it's offering great support. So that was your clue even back here in 2019. You knew it rallied as you got three quarters of the way through the square and you were halfway um, in price. So three quarters in time, halfway in price. It's a division of the square that's quite important and you got a big rally. So even after that, when that happened, you can see it was responding to the two by one. The fact that you came down and, and found support on this last February, uh, it was pretty clear to me that it was going to keep going higher. So I warned people and I told them this thing is going up into January 2022 and anytime it bounces off this two by one, it's a buying opportunity. Same logic applies here. You have a buying opportunity as long as this one by one holds. You can see it tested a one, two, three, four times very solid support. Now you probably would have had a little nervousness here uh, during the month of February. You can see it took it out slightly but it looks like it's going to close the month above it. My view is that you're probably going to go up into January 2022 so for the next year you're going to see gold rally strongly. Now obviously you have to trade with a stop loss if it takes out this prior swing low in this area you probably know that it's going down here but I don't think that's gonna happen I think it's ready to go up if you want more information I have uh, dozens of charts on gold and I do a report for clients uh, you, again you can go to the website and get more information about subscription but even if you don't want to subscribe look at this this is pretty cool I update this chart on YouTube every so often just to show people that GAN does work. It's like people are very skeptical. They don't believe, um, because there are a lot of con artists out there, they don't believe that what you're showing them is real. So my idea was, you know, a year ago I showed you the same chart when you were down here. I told you we're going up into January 2022 and now I'm showing you the progression a year later. I'm showing you what is really happening. So no tricks, just telling you, showing you the same GAN chart with the exact same scale. And I want to show you the proof that, hey, this stuff works. And the theory would be you get above the square, you popped above it once, you came back, found support, 
probably the next time you take this out, you're going to have a more accelerated rally. So you don't even have to wait for new highs above this high here at 20.89. I think if you take this out, you're probably going up for real because this square is hugely important. Now, you might say, well, what about, you know, once you're way up here, then this square is no longer useful. Well, that's not entirely true. If you look at this, um, you can actually create as many boxes going higher as you like. Now, this actually, let me just adjust this. Okay, so you have the original square here, and you can go all the way up and look at where the high might be. You can go halfway up, you know, one and a half squares up or you know one and a quarter you can look at it all the way up and get an idea where it's probably going to go um, the question is not uh, knowing with 2020 um, you know a lot of people look at it and say hey uh, I want to know exactly where it's going by you know January 2022 that's not the way it works the way it works is you monitor this and see where it gets to as you get to uh, January 2022. If you rally strongly into it, you have a reason to sell. If you were, let's say we're totally wrong. Let's say we took this out, we sold off into January 2022. Then you'd probably have a buying opportunity. I don't believe that's going to happen because like I said, I have a lot of other charts that suggest that we're going to rally. But if that were to happen, either way, you're going to have a turn because the concept here is that the square is a natural cycle. When you complete the square in time, you should expect a turn. And the concept is very simple. If you rally into it, that's probably going to be a high. If you sell off into it, that's probably going to be a low. Now, you know, as long as this holds, what I would say to you, as long as this holds one, two, three, four months in a row, it's telling you something it's getting ready to go higher you know if it wanted to break it probably would have done it by now and once you go up it will be big um, obviously for for good reason notice also this second square you caught a high here so even though the first square is probably going to be over pretty soon in the sense that you know you get to new highs you're not going to be looking at this it's still valuable looking at the second square going up because look it gave you close to the high here so we'll be looking at all these lines as we go up and we'll be trying to figure out um, which one is active resistance but a lot of them will be because we already showed you back here you had active support and resistance on these lines so it's just to show you that there is a relationship between time and price and if you have the right scale, you're going to get a lot of hits. If you have the wrong scale, you won't. But that's the beauty of knowing something about GAN. And that's what we offer at GANanalysis.net. We try to show you the right charts for each market. We don't just do gold. We look at, you know, gold, silver, commodities, uh, Forex, the S&P, stocks in general. And, um, you know, whatever you want to look at soybeans we can show it to you you want to look at uh, forex dollar yen you want to look at a whole range of markets even bitcoin we had some great calls on that um, so if you want check out our website register you get some free reports and then think about taking advantage of our three-month trial subscription we offer it at a reduced price so that you can see for yourself whether this works for you. Give you, a, give you three months to try it out before you really decide to go with it. Um, anyway, I uh, hope this has been helpful. Good luck in your trading. Keep an eye on gold this coming week. I think you're going to find it interesting.